Some claim that the age of a true gentleman is far behind us, but here at 284 Media, we disagree. He may appear in different guises today, but the values and ideals that make him a gent still stand. Gentlemen, aspiring gentlemen, and of course, our partners that hold us down, I'm Ron Grant. Welcome to a brand new season of The Art of a Distinguished Gentleman, a show poised to help guide modern day men into 21st century distinguished gentlemen. Don't worry, it's not always about suits and bow ties, but raw real life lessons that translate to grounded, community minded, well rounded men. Thank you all for taking this journey with me. Now in season three, we take you on an entirely different journey. From chefs to dancers, construction experts, we're heading outside in the field to share the journey of some of the BVI's best and brightest. From East End to West End, Vojangora, of course, Joss Van Dyke and Anagata, our Virgin Islands gentlemen are doing the damn thing. And I'm proud. Now, inspiration is said to be one of the most pivotal points of someone's life. We all have inspiration from somewhere. Also, it's been said that the youth are the future. My first guest of this brand new season is not the future. He is the present. He's a philanthropist. He is one of the most poised young men of our generation. The one and only Jaleel Cameron, who is taking the waves of the BVI by storms. He's contributing, and believe it or not, he's contributed more in his very short space of time than a lot of us have ever contributed in our entire lifetime. I am so proud, so excited to be beginning this season with the one and only Jaleel Cameron. We talk philanthropy. We talk what's next. He's graduated soon uh, one and only Jaleel Cameron all this after word from our sponsors we'll be right back brilliant hands and minds tutoring services one-on-one -on -one tutorials in math and English intense homework assistance academic enrichment school projects effective communication and public speaking development sign language for adults and children on Saturdays only registered with the Virgin Islands high school certificate program brilliant hands and minds can help you too Offering intense curriculum-based training to help you or your loved ones get their high school diploma. It's time to make your family's education a number one priority. Hurry, space is limited. Brilliant Hands and Minds Learning Center. We are the trained education professionals. Viewers, welcome back. As promised, I am here with the one and only Jaleel Cameron. You're watching The Art of a Distinguished Gentleman. Jaleel Welcome to the Art of a Distinguished Gentleman. Thank you so much for your time. Cheers. Thank you so much. Cheers. So, you're not only the first guest of this season, but you're the youngest. You are 16 years old. You're going to be graduating next year from uh, Cedar International. That's where you attend. You have contributed significantly to the territory of the Virgin Islands within your very young uh, time on island, on, on, on earth, sorry. Begin by telling us about the Jaleel Cameron Foundation. When did you start? Okay, that, thank you so much for having me. Um, great intro introduction. Um, I think that might be one of the best introductions I've ever had. <laughs> um, Definitely. So thank you so much. Um, as I said before, I'm a great fan of this show. Um, I, I want to thank you for feeling that you could, um, you know, give me this platform to speak on my um, foundation and how Absolutely. I feel myself as a distinguished gentleman. So um, the foundation started off, when, um, I, I tell this story so much, but when I was nine years old, I um, started having a series of seizures. Mm -hmm. um, my, my family didn't, there's no um, history in my family of people having seizures. So of course we didn't know where that stemmed from. So like any um, good family would do. They took me to the hospital. The hospital um, said, you know, we don't have the pr correct paraphernalia or equipment to be able to properly diagnose your child. So I had to go off to Miami mm. and as um, they, I was diagnosed with epilepsy in Miami and as I came back, you know, I, look, I, I looked to my grandmother um, and I said, you know, I don't think that it's right that I should have to go away to um, seek medical um, treatment. I feel like we sh we ha we and that was when the hus the new hospital was like in the if it wasn't finished already, it was close to being okay. finished. So I I see I see that we have supposed to have you know a state of the art mm -hmm. uh, facilities. Why not have all the equipment? So my grandmother um you know she took that and she, one day she told me you know we should um take your words and turn it into action and. We went to um, my um, pastor. I attend St. George's um, Anglican Church. Okay. And we, Father Branch was the pastor at that time. And we asked him if we could sell water and beverages after church to be able to 
purchased this machine for the mm. hospital. And then a lot of people know me from um, selling water outside of Scotia Bank yes. next to the yes. um, po post boxes. And yeah, that's that's how I really started off. Wow. Now, when you started your foundation, of course, it was because of your situation and wanting to give back. But did you have any idea that the Jaleel Cameron Foundation would turn into what it has become today? I'll be totally honest with you. I, I did not. I did not see us, you know, still doing this. Um, that that's seven years ago, how time has um, flew yes. by. But um, yeah, I I wouldn't have seen um, this for the foundation really. No. I thought mm -hmm. when you know when when we were doing that, especially at, at such a young age, I I thought you know we'll do a great um, deed for the community. Um, I never thought I would get the attention that I did from it. Um, because I thought it was just, you know, the right thing to do. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Now, you are an award-winning philanthropist. Um, you've been recognized uh, throughout the territory for your stellar work and really giving back. Who are some of the people that really assisted you and supported you uh, as it pertains to the foundation? So, um, I wish she was here. My grandmother, mm -hmm. um, she's my rock. Awesome. Um, you know, in your introduction, you speak on, um, you know, our queens that hold us down. Of mm -hmm. course, you know, I'm too young to have a wife. So yeah, yeah. That, that, that first lady in my um, life is um, my grandmother. Mm -hmm. And, you know, she always, you know, taught me to do the right thing. And I, I love her. And I have a great team filled with, um, really, my team is a lot of women. Mm. Um, my grandmother, my mom. I have an adopted grandmother okay. named Astrid. Um, she is another rock of mine, you know, always, you know, behind of me. Any any um, initiative that I have, I can, you know, go and tell them, and they're going to, you know, make sure that we are best set up to, um, to help whoever it is we're helping. And I, I can't thank them enough, really. Amazing. You are, as I said, one of the leading and, and we don't always sign up to be a role model, uh, but believe it or not, you are. Um, you have set a precedence, a very high standard for service above self. Uh, you're giving back, you're contributing to our society. When you think of what's next for Jaleel, because you are graduating soon, uh, you'll be graduating next year, uh, any future aspirations? Uh, you know, um, so, after school, college is, you know, the next step. I, I'll be totally honest, I haven't decided what I want to okay. study yet. But even if I, um, you know, don't go off to study um, something having to do with um, philanthropy or giving back, I, that, that is already a part mm -hmm. of me, so it won't, you know, ever leave me. So even if I don't, you know, even if my primary job um, when I grow up is not um, running my foundation, that will always be there, and I'll never uh, forget to give back. I'll never, ever forget to give back. Awesome. I uh, have to speak about uh, the debate society. Um, I had the honor of uh, sitting and observing you and your colleagues uh, debate uh, a variety of uh, topics, uh, and you are a part of the debate society. I want to speak to extracurricular activities uh, that really have assisted our young people in developing their skills. Uh, you were a part of the debate society at the Cedar School. What did that experience do for you? So I, I, I think it, it's great and, um, and people are different, but I, I, would, I would recommend it to others. Mm -hmm. I think that um, you know, in the BVI, it, teaching our young people that um, healthy discourse is needed um, in order for countries to um, how do I say, progress. Mm -hmm. um, healthy, healthy discourse is really all that's needed to have, um, to have a good political culture and be able to push our country forward. So I, I think that um, you know, we should try to get the youth in, involved in, su in things such as the um, debate um, team. And a lot, El Mosto is doing great with that. My school is doing great with that. A, a lot of different schools are doing great. Um, I was very, that was my first time yeah. doing the um, debate, and I was 
I was very delighted to see how um, serious students took it and we had great discourse and I, that, that's, I, I would say that's really one of the key things needed to push a country forward. You, you got to get that dialogue going and once you could come to a consensus um, about how we push forward, yeah. then um, there's no telling what we as a country can accomplish after that. I agree. What else do you do uh, to uh, engage your time uh, for fun or for you know uh, leisure? Um, s sports. I play rugby. I play basketball. Um, other. I I I, I play tennis. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of different. Of course, service. I try to um, help out people whether. Um, I, I go and help people if they if you want a box moved and you're like o older I'll I'll help you do that come to your house help you um move boxes for a day that's that's what I do that's um, who you are yeah. absolutely a lot of times uh, as we observe our society we keep hearing the youth are our future the youth are our future uh, but it's a it's a bit more than that uh, you are a shining example of the youth being the present what encouragement would you give to young persons like yourself who might think, oh, I'm only 16, I'm only 13, um, I can't do so much. You have proven that age is nothing but a number. Your impact and influence on this society will continue to be embedded with all of us, I think, and it's going to transcend through time. What encouragement would you say to young persons like yourself who are saying, oh, I'm too young, I can't do this? Um, I, I would say I've, I've never... Um Looked at looked at it that way, really, because when I when I started off, I, I was nine, um, and the task that I had wasn't really a tedious task. Finish church, you know, mm -hmm. go out, sell water and sell um, juices. So, but I never thought that it would have the impact. I I would just say to our youth, just um, you know, be, stay true, stay true to yourself. Um. My grandmother is going to be so upset with me because I keep saying um, but <laughs> okay. you're good. Yeah, uh, I, w I would just say stay tr true to yourself um, and just try. The way I look at it mm -hmm. is that, you know, they say it takes a village to raise a child. Mm. And I've, I'll, 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 this is something that I've been thinking about lately. I'm, I'm so blessed. Like, the kind of love that I get w just from walking and being, you know, a part of the BVI community, I, I'm the type of person I'll go to the I'll go to the um, right way. Mm -hmm. I'll go to right way, and I'll be in there, you know, shopping, getting something by myself. This is just me um, shopping, and when I, when I go and pass the cashier, I'll say say what I have picked up is um, I take out the money and I give it to the cashier and say I might just be a, a little short. Someone behind of me w will see me you know, going into my pocket and they'll, they'll be like, no, no, I'll take care mm -hmm. of it. Even, mm -hmm. even though I have the money. And I, I just say like, you have to pay that forward. Like, yes. like you, we met, um, when, I think this was in June. Yeah. When, um, At the top you, of the hill. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I um, asked you if you could, um, you know, I was in a bit of a bind that day and I asked you if I could get away. You were in a and rush to yeah. get to a uh, practice, steel yes, pan practice. Yes, steel, steel yeah. pan is another um, thing I love doing. Um, and you did that without hesitation. And I, I do catch rides and I'm always surprised that, you know, I'll tell people, stop me here, I could just walk. And people will insist mm -hmm. on carrying me the full distance. So I, like... I feel like once you know people try to put good energy into um you you have you shouldn't have another choice but mm -hmm. to try to pay it forward and do your best and, and they do that because you're Jalil Cameron. <laughs> I, 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 I I don't know if I don't know if it's because of that, but I I, I just I am grateful and yes. I feel the need to Absolutely. you know pay that forward. I, so I, I will I would just say you know all youth just. Just look at the great things that people have done for you in your life and try to pay that forward to somebody else. Absolutely. Pass it on. I don't, I, I don't want to sound preachy, but no, yeah. yeah. Preach, man. Absolutely. I, I love your words of encouragement and I appreciate you. Uh, viewers, we are here with the one and only Jalil Cameron and he is spitting some wisdom. I hope you're listening. We're going to be right back after a quick commercial break. 
so you're saying I can ask this cat any question? The cat is connected to the computer. You just type in the question, it will read his mind. There's the answer, Cole. You're the man! I've been looking for this for weeks. Viewers, welcome back. You're watching The Art of a Distinguished Gentleman. Uh, once again, I am here with the one and only Jalil Cameron, one of our young professionals who are making leaps and bounds within our territory. Jalil, who inspires you? And I, I don't want to miss anyone out, but, you know, I'll just give a few examples. Um, of course, everyone that I mentioned before, mm -hmm. my um, grandmother, the um, beautiful, the beautiful ladies on my team who pushed me forward. My president, um, Mrs. Daniels, she's the president of my foundation. Okay. Miss um, Kaling Romney, Miss um, Heather Butcher, Miss um, Kathy, and Lord, please, I hope I didn't forget anyone. Um, but and since since we're on the show, um, you know, mm -hmm. this distinguished gentleman, I think that um, I should, you know, give some male names. Mm -hmm. Some some meals that I look up to in, in the BVI community, um, actually a lot of them have you know been on, on your show already. Nice. Um, so Deva, um, Mr. Yes, Barber. Yes. The, um, he might be a little upset with me right now because um, <laughs> you know, I and I, I love that episode as well because you know you mentioned um, not cheating on your Bible, but I yeah, yeah. Lord I I broke that one. I'm That's so okay. Sorry, but um. Deva, I look up to Deva because you know when I used to go to, when I went to his uh, when I go to his barber shop, it's it's like a firm. It's you know it's a great place to have good dialogue. It's a vibe, yeah. Deva is Deva is one of the realest people you'll ever meet in your life, and he's he just always gives off positive energy, mm -hmm. and you can have great um you know just and I I feel that's you know that's a safe haven for our men, the barber shop. Yes, yes. So um. I would say Deva. Um, I, I was actually watching um, Mr. Pa Aaron Parallel's yes, yes. um, episode last night. I look up to him as well. Just just a positive dude. He he actually grew up with my um, dad okay. in Seacoles Bay area, so he's like a brother to my dad, and he always you know encourages me and just a great guy. The deputy governor, mm -hmm. um, Mr. Archer. I've actually, a um, couple months ago, COVID has kind of breaking it up, but I've broken it up. Um, I've been playing basketball. We, you know, we had the league in the yes. multi-purpose complex, and he was, um, he's a coach. Okay. So he was coaching my team, um, the second. So he, and just a great les lesson that he um, gave my team, you know, um, to be early is to be on time. To be on time is to be late, and to be late is to be never. Yes. And so that's that's. Um, Those are beautiful examples of really, yeah. really strong, uh, powerful men that have contributed significantly to our territory. Yeah. We are in the era, Jalil, of COVID, and it's really, it's it's taken the BVI by storm. The grief is crippling. I mean, the pain is real. We've been through a lot this year. What has COVID taught you? And I think we're still going through it. Yes. So I, I, I don't know if I've re There's still, you know. Um, still lessons uh, to be learned. Still lessons yeah. to be learned, but. And I don't know how, I don't know how I'm, I'm processing it, hmm. but to, to be able to, you know, first, I've never really dealt with a lot of um, loss in my family, but it's just a crazy experience to me when I would have been, um, you know, speaking to a person, you know, a couple weeks before, and to be and to wake up to hear that that person has, you know, passed on, is I don't I don't know how I'm dealing with that, and but let's just I don't think, and this is I'm I'm sorry this sounds so generic, but. Don't take life for granted. Tomorrow is not promised. Um, and I, I just, 
and I could imagine the you know people that have um, lost person that are that are closer to them, mm -hmm. and you know maybe didn't maybe you, you when you lose someone you might feel as if um Lord I I I might have took this person for granted yes. while they were um here with us, but just you know don't don't take anyone for granted in your life. Um, tomorrow is not promised to us. Um, that's that's um. Take care of yourself is, is what I've um, learned from, you know, COVID. I got, I got vaccinated yesterday, okay. uh, my first shot. So just, just take care of yourself and don't, you know, take, don't take your life for granted. Don't take anyone around you for granted. Those are remarkable, remarkable lessons. And uh, you're right. Uh, don't take life for granted. Don't take people for granted. Um, and life is not promised. Uh, you are going to be embarking, as we mentioned, you're graduating. Um, in a year and you haven't decided yet uh, where you want uh, to go or what path exactly you want to take. When you look at the contribution, and I know we spoke and you said you, you never really intended or saw it going to this point, but when you look back on your short time that you've uh, been around, uh, you've been a true blessing to uh, many of us in a, in a variety of ways, but I want to talk about the road ahead. You may go to college, you may decide to open a business, whatever you decide, wherever life takes you, wherever that journey takes you. When you look at being a BV Islander, a Virgin Islander, born and bred Virgin Islander, wherever you go, what will you be most proud of, of being a BV Islander? Whether it's culture, food, what aspect of your heritage are you, you, you most proud of? Wow, that, that, that's a great question. I I think the the um just just who who I am and what the BVI really strives to um to breed of their um young children. Um the the stuff that I that I'm most proud of um, growing up in the BVI are are little things like mm. I, I had a I had um one after the hurricane I, I moved away to Orlando and it was it was a surreal experience because S saying saying good morning is not is not normal away from yes. from from the BVI. Y you do have southern hospitality, and there are um, you know communities that you'll find in the south of the U.S. where that they just like the BVI. Mm -hmm. Good morning, good afternoon. Um, you know how are you? Uh, all of that. But I and I would just say um, and you had this conversation also with um, 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 Devo. And you, you, you were asking him, um, basically, you asked him, where, where did we go wrong um, mm -hmm. you know, with, with um, kids? Maybe um, you, you might, they're not saying good morning, good afternoon. Um, and it's always, it, it's always a shock to me as well, because that, that's, just, that's just how I move, really. I'm the type of person, if I walk, if I walk down the um, sidewalk and I pass 10 people on that, I'll say good afternoon um, go, or good morning 10 times. Mm -hmm. The only time you would like, and this is no excuse, but the only time I wouldn't say good morning or good afternoon is if I'm in my head too much mm -hmm. or if I'm overthinking about mm -hmm. something. But um, yeah, I, I would just say that, that hospitality yes. and that, that BVI love is what I'm most proud of. Um, as I go on in life that, that and experience things different than the BVA, that would be um, what I'm most proud of. That's, so, a, yeah. that's a beautiful example because, just like you said, outside of the BVI, uh, uh, culturally, it's not a norm in certain societies to say good morning or you get in an elevator with some persons and uh, somebody's on one end, somebody's on the other, and they don't even acknowledge that uh, someone else is with them. Uh, we in the BVI, just like you said, uh, have a great sense of hospitality, and that's a really, really good example. You are my youngest distinguished gentleman. What does being a gentleman mean to Jaleel Cameron? I think being a gentleman, just, just, just being, being the best you that you can be to people um, around you. Um, that 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 would be um, my example of a gentleman. Um, of course, 
you know, how we treat our um, queens in life mm -hmm. and all of that, you know, saying good morning, saying good afternoon, um, ch checking up on people, asking, you know, genuinely asking people how are they doing. Yeah. And meaning it, yeah. Yes, and um, just, just trying, just, m my goal, my goal really, like as, as a human, my goal is to always give um, people the energy that I want to be reciprocated mm -hmm. to me. I, I, I want to show people love and I want, you know, them to reciprocate that back to me so that, you know, we could just, you know, live and um, feel, feel, feel love and be and just, it's, and I hope I'm not rambling on. You're but, good. But um, that, that's really, I, I feel like being, a, and I'll just speak about, um, you know, the way, um, you know, treating um, young ladies. Um, you know, tr tr and I feel like it's being uh, um, lost a little bit mm. um, in terms of, um, you know, opening opening doors. Um, yeah, speak to it, speak to it. Pulling out seats. Um, and I was watching your interview with um, Mr. Letsom. Um, Chad Letsom. Yes. As he um, was speaking about his, um, his, him and his wife just having a baby. And he, he wants to, you know, and I love this because he wants to, you know, build her up after he, after and while being um yeah. being pregnant um and that was just a great ex, a great um example of being a gentleman to me you know um sometimes um women might you know feel as if um they're not being valued mm -hmm. enough and that was just a great and that's that was just a great example to me of um a, just a stand up guy um, Absolutely. being being great to his wife um and i i i really see no other i i'm i'm very concerned when i see um and i've messed up in the past i i won't um sit here and act like i didn't but i it's always it's always weird to me when i see people when i see guys being um disrespectful yeah. to women because um you know a woman carried you a woman nurtured you um hopefully after you were born you know um, and it's, it's always mind boggling to me when I see guys, um, disrespecting women cause you know, a, a woman carried you for nine months mm -hmm. and she, hopefully as you grow up, she tried to show you as much love as possible. And, but yeah, I, I, I hope I answered your question. You did, um, you did. Uh, you spoke to the, the quality of a gentleman um, as it regards to uh, the, the hospitality and taking care. But really what I love is the value that you exemplify for women. Uh, from your foundation, uh, having a lot of women on your team, to having the love and admiration and respect for your mom and your grandma, um, that value uh, that you carry and just hearing you articulate that is perhaps why I do this show absolutely why I do this show because I want your generation, the 16 year olds, uh, the, the 15 year olds, uh, and even a little bit older, the 20 year olds, to understand that value and, I, and having you um, sit and articulate your respect and admiration for women I think is by far um, a great achievement. I want to thank you so much uh, for your honesty, uh, your articulation. I want to thank you for saying yes. Uh, to this invitation. We are so Could proud of you, Julie. We are so proud of you. You exemplify the future of the British Virgin Islands. Um, and you have taken that mantle and you have contributed significantly even as it pertains to right now. You are doing remarkable things and I have so much admiration and respect for you and I think uh, the community as well. Uh, we applaud you. So proud of you and thank you for being a distinguished gentleman. All right. Thank you so much for having me. Um, great experience. As I said, I'm a fan, so it was um, it was a great experience to um, and you have that intro down pack. <laughs> I got really, you, man. I got really, you. Um, it really, it was a, a crazy experience for me. You know, watching at home to actually um, witnessing you um, and being on the set that and being on the set. So amazing. Thank you so much for this experience. Welcome. I hope um, I hope we've um, 
put out a product that you know people can take away some kind of lesson from. Um, I hope my grandmother is um, proud of me. Um, shout out, Grandma. Absolutely. Um, I love you, and I hope I, um, I hope to make you proud in the future, and I hope I am making you proud presently, and I hope um, she likes this interview because she, she, she was, she was on, on, on me about it. <laughs> so, <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Viewers, that is all the time we have. A shining example of uh, poise, intellect, and articulation, the one and only Jaleel Cameron. Uh, this is The Art of a Distinguished Gentleman. I'll see you guys next week.